alone. I was gonna come in and show y'all some re re woo and also give you my viewpoints and opinions on whether it was hip or hype or worth all this extra that we done went through to get the dang re re woo, okay? And of course, by default, y'all had to have known I was gonna get my hands on it because look, if you guys have been following me for a long time, y'all know my obsession with Ruby Woo by Mac, okay? And then if you guys have been following me for even longer or even follow my vlog channel and know me personally in real life, y'all would know, okay, that Rihanna's my baby mama. I'm just saying. When the two of them got together, it was a natural occurrence that I was gonna go ahead and get my hands on Ruby Woo. So. That's what I did, did, okay? Now, I'm sure you guys have probably heard a little bit of the buzz that's been going around with regard to how hard it was to get it, how it sold out in just a few hours, how it's supposed to be real similar to Ruby Woo. So I'm here to show y'all the difference between the two and tell y'all my viewpoints of opinions, viewpoints and opinions on whether it's worth all of this extra hype and drama that we done went through to get it. Let me go ahead and show you Ruby Woo, which is what I have on my lips right now, okay? Just wanted to make sure you guys could see it on my skin tone. As you guys can see, it is still a matte lipstick. It is a retro matte lipstick. It is a newer matte that's available with MAC, okay? It's obviously a newer matte finish. It is more moisturizing than the Ruby Woo, but it's still matte, okay? Another thing, it is still a blue-based red, just like Ruby Woo, okay? Still has that beautiful look to it. Still gives you that look at them pearly whites, you heard me, okay? So this is the lipstick right here and regular packaging, as you guys can see. The only thing that's different with it is it is a retro matte, okay? And it features Rihanna's signature right sure, okay? Now I'll go ahead and open it up even more so y'all can see it in case you guys haven't seen the whole thing. Um, yeah, so that's that, all right? Now what I'm gonna do, go ahead and do is I'm gonna show you guys Ruby Woo and then Ruby Woo next to each other in the actual containers so y'all can see the similarities between the two. Both are blue base reds, both are matte finishes. One has a smoother finish as far as the matte's concerned and that would be the Ruby Woo, okay? But again, both are blue base reds and really freaking similar in color. So just to even show that to you even further, we're gonna go ahead and swatch both on my hand so you can see it even up close, okay? All right, here we go. The only difference that I can see with the Riwi Woo is Riwi Woo is just a little lighter, okay? Still a blue base red, but just a little tiny bit lighter than the Ruby Woo, and it has a little slight bit of a yellow undertone to it, but it's still a blue base red, okay? So, bam, okay? This is Riwi Woo up here. This is Ruby Woo down here, and that's why I did this in the vanity area. I have a lot more lighting in here, better lighting so you guys could actually see the swatches on my hand and on my lips as well, okay? So yeah, yeah, so I don't know how long it took for you guys to get your wee wee woos. I know I was in line dealing with some customer service stuff and I went ahead and just said, oh, I saw it on Instagram and I was like, oh shoot, I completely forgot it was coming out. I went ahead, pulled it up on my phone, took me all of two seconds to really get it. I must have lucked out or caught it when it wasn't really too cray cray, although everybody said they had to wait a little while before they got their hands on their first one. It was like mid afternoon, happened to get it. 10 minutes later, that mother sucker was sold out. So I just happened to pick it up. I wasn't really that hype about it per se, but I did want to get my hands on Ruby Woo, so I was like, if I get it, I get it. If not, it's whatever. So, hype, yes. The girl got her damn money. Look, let me get something like a candy yum yum. We can call that shit sandy dum dum or something, something like that. Y'all know I love my pinks. And repackage that mofo to look just like candy yum yum and get my paper. Because that's basically what this was. It's just a repackaged Ruby Woo, okay? With just a little bit of a smoother matte finish and a slightly lighter undertone, okay? But it's the same daggone thing. And we should have all figured that. Obviously, with Ruby Woo, being called Ruby Woo and her obsession with Ruby Woo, we had to have figured that it was going to be kind of similar, if not almost identical, to Ruby Woo. Here's my problem. My problem is, I just wish she'd just come out with something a little different. Like if you, you know, you Rihanna, you extra, you doing the most. We know you a lot of extra and you be going a little hard in the style and the fashion and whatever. So I feel like with this, she could have been a little bit more creative or Mac or her or whatever. Whoever came up with the color could have been a little bit more creative and come out with something that's like off the chain where you know you got your hands on something that is for real for real exclusive okay y'all know this comes back out in june if i were to ask y'all just based on what you saw 
Would you go ahead and rush to buy it in June? Let me know down below. But my thing is this. I love me some Rihanna, I love me some Ruby Woo. Would I rush to go back and buy this mother sucker again? Hell no. It's the same daggone thing. And on top of that, if you ain't trying to spend that money or if you haven't gotten your hands on Ruby Woo, you, it's a crime for you to go ahead and buy a Ruby Woo. It's just a crime to go through all the weight and all that stuff. Get your hands on some Ruby Woo first. If not, and you're trying to go a little, you know, cheaper or whatever, there's other dupes that are just as great. There's all kinds of colors that are even better than this. There's this color right here. I can tell you right here off the top of my head. This is 8038. This is Sarah Gina, and this is by Wet n Wild by Fergie, the Fergie collection, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and swatch that mother sucker right on top of these, right, sure, okay? And look, <laughs> bam, you hear me? Look, another blue based red. The only difference between that, for the most part, and the other two is that it's not a matte finish, okay? So if you're looking for a more moisturizing red that has that blue based undertone to it, it's just as beautiful and hella cheap. There you go, bam. Anyway, just wanted to come in and show that to y'all. Rihanna got her damn money. Look, I need to go ahead and call and contact Mac or one of these companies, these makeup companies, and come up with some other stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, I am like in the Sandy Dum Dum or the, you know what I'm saying? We gonna come up with something, okay? Cause I'm trying to get that Rihanna paper. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. Just wanted to come in and show you guys. It's Ruby Woo, y'all, on crack. Okay, Ruby Woo with Rihanna's signature on the side. That's all I'm saying. All right, let me know your comments down below. Let me know if you guys got your hands on the Ruby Woo. And if you guys got your hands on the Ruby Woo and you guys don't even own Ruby Woo, I'm curious to see who got Ruby Woo and still never owned Ruby Woo. Okay, but either way, let me know your comments down below. Let me know, well, no, let me know if, if you didn't get it. Would you buy it now that you've seen this video? And I will holler at y'all in the next video. As always, follow me on Twitter. Twitter.com forward slash socialize Sandy. Of course, hit me up on my Facebook fan page and my Pinterest page. Both of those links are down below. My blog, the socialitelife.blogspot.com. And of course, hit me up on Instagram at socialite Sandy. And you already know I love y'all. And I will see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Bye. On the inside, okay? The color I always use is typically the...